on sit from Hokkien pian e sit, which means something conveniently cooked fast. No Filipino family gathering could be complete without this noodle based dish. It is quite possibly the most essential foodstuff trailing behind rice and pandisal for Filipino families all over the globe. So it is safe to say that when I brought up the topic of trying to make this Filipino comfort food, my wife blanched and simply said, don't mess it up. We'll see if I pull this recipe off in this episode of Dad the Noob Tries to Make, Pond Sit. All right, so I don't really take cues very well from my production assistant, Alyssa. Say hi to everybody, Alyssa. Hello. Uh, hello, and welcome back to another Dad the Noob. Uh, or should I say, Kamusta Kana, right? Because today is a Filipino-themed dish. We'll be making some pancit. As you see here, some of the ingredients that we're going to be uh, preparing. And uh, just to walk you through some of our paces here, we got about a pound and a half of chicken breast, skinned and boneless. We got about a pound of pork, um, pork chops, no bones. And then over here, we're dicing some onions, some cabbage, and some garlic uh, for our meal prep. So on the, on the whole, if you have everything prepped, it should take you about an hour to put this meal together. It's a good family dish. Uh, again, following that peasant food theme that we've been going after on this show is really cost effective, uh, considering that the pork is about mm, four bucks, the chicken breast is probably about, it's part of the larger pack, it's about nine bucks. Cabbage, onions, and the garlic in and themselves put together is about three dollars. So you're talking about fifteen dollars to feed a family of six for over, over the course of a couple days. So really cost-effective dish. I think I hope it comes out really well because I have a resident expert on all things Filipino. My wife, Bernie, over there. Say hi, Bernie. Hi. Think of something funny. I'm filming. Oh, you're filming already? Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure you try not to cut off my sausage finger. <laughs> wait, wait. These are onions, right? Yeah. And Shrek ate onions. That's right. Shrek. Well, no. Did he eat onions? I thought he are... was an onion. No, he's an ogre. I know, but didn't he say he was an onion? No. Ogres are like onions? Yeah, because onions it's, have layers. That's or... right. Layers. So you can see the layers. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it says dice. Well, Do you not know what dicing is? No, isn't this dicing? No, dicing is when you like chop it up at a consistent pace, not but, like... But that's... I did, and then no. it fell apart. No, it's like... It's like... <laughs> That's what I just did. No? Mm, I'm pretty sure no. Gordon Ramsay would prove. No, Gordon Ramsay would. Uh... Do you think he would cuss at me? Yeah, he would. He would roast you. Would he call me a blankety blank blank blank? Yeah. Dang. All right. All right so in a pinch, uh, we're getting the mini carrots or carrotettes, and once you slice them or dice or I don't know, what's the bigger whatever. But now we're slicing them into more finer sticks to go into the mix. And I'm being schooled right now by Bernie, whose late, delicate lady fingers definitely are a nice compliment to my ham-fisted sausage finger process uh, that you all are accustomed to. All right, so we just got done watching Bernie make these nice little carrot sticks. Now we're going to see if I can mirror that success. So far, so good. All right, so mostly because she did that. Now, here's this. There, 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 and... Why are you cutting it like that? What? Hey, like what? That's how he usually cuts it like. All right, so these, this chunk right here is dad. This chunk right here is mom's. Can you see how <laughs> chunky they are? Look, I know. I'm doing and how how thin these ones are. Look. I'm doing my best right now mm. with what I got to work with. You need to separate them. What is that? I am. <laughs> You're not. Look, they're going to get fall apart in the wok when I cook them all together. All right, so right now it looks like uh, that looks I, have, much better. I have beefier versions compared to Bernie. But yeah. this, could, this is probably a little bit more time consuming than what you're willing to invest in. Uh, but, oh crap, I forgot to cut that in half. Nope. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I know. Uh, again, so prep work is key to any dish, and right now uh, I'm making do with mini carrots, carrotettes, carrot, carrot pops, carrot pops. I don't know. They're not whole carrots, they're baby carrots, so it's a little bit more time consuming, but it's going to work out just fine. 
when we get into the uh, process of mixing everything in. So, so show me up, uh, Alyssa, my production assistant, wants to show me how carrots are sliced. All right. Because this is slicing, not dicing. You see how thin these are? Yeah. All right. See how thin they are. I do. You have to be safe, but you have to really kind of close. Really kind of close. Okay, this might be beefier. All right, this is the appropriate time to tell everybody that Alyssa doesn't is not known for cooking in this family. Yeah. But she watches a lot of Gordon Ramsay, though. I do. Oh, she threw it. All right. Nice, Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So now we're going to start preparing the meat. Again, we got about a pound and a half of chicken breast and about a pound of pork. And what we're going to do is we're going to place them into our pot here. And then... And I'm running out of space. It's all right. And what's going to end up happening is we're going to. Then we're going to pour just enough water to cover the meat. So that was about a cup. I'll fill up a little bit more. this on high and we're gonna let and sit cover it and let it sit and boil for about 20 minutes and it's gonna cook uh, tentatively cook the meat and then uh, we'll prepare everything else while that's getting done so see you in a little bit oh, all right so um, measuring the water it, it for rice in the Filipino tradition you use your index finger and it goes up to I think the second line is that right the second line so no, it's the first line. The first line? Alright, so we violated that measuring stick and it's gone up to the second line. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> there it is. Which should be okay, you know? Uh, it works for the rice, it should work for the meat, so we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and we're going to take the meat out and let it cool for a little bit without burning ourselves. Oh, I need a tong. Tongs for days. And then we're going to take this out and we're going to let this meat cool. And while that's happening, I'm going to prep the, uh, look at that. Nice. Now most of you are probably thinking, man, boiled meat, what the heck? Well, that's only part of the process. We're going to take this meat, dice it up, and then we're going to throw it in our handy dandy wok over there, which I've already pre-treated. And um, we're going to cook it a little bit more and we're going to mix in all of our vegetable fixings over there, along with the spice medley that I have concocted, which is comprised of salt, kosher salt, some pepper, and uh, chicken bouillon. We're gonna throw in a little bit of chicken stock for good measure, and then we're gonna add some of this uh, meat juice <laughs> that we just got done boiling our meat in. So that should come out pretty good, at least I hope. All right, so I'm in a competition for time right now because Nathan has to get to dance, get dance class, so I'm gonna handle this meat even though it's it's kind of hot to handle. Um, so we're going to start dicing up this pork. I'll let the chicken cool a little bit. And then uh, let's go from there. So we want to get these into kind of bite-sized bits. It's a lot of meat. And, uh, I'm not known for following recipes very, very well. So it's usually I usually make more than what's called for. But that's okay. That means it's a leftover. Again, for about 20 bucks, you can make this uh, recipe and it'll last. You know, obviously, depending on how many people are in the house and what kind of appetites they have. And it has, uh, I think, all of the major food groups, right? So there's, there's meat, oh, no dairy, there's no dairy. So you have to supplement that by drinking your almond milk or whatever it is that you're into. But you get your protein, you get your veggies, you get your carbohydrates from the noodles, and you get some you know, sweet, sweet juices and all that other good junk. And then uh, what you got is a well-rounded, that, uh, meal for anybody else's diet. So we'll be back. It's watching. All right, so fans on, that means there's fire, and where fire is involved, danger ensues, and that's where I come in. So over here, we got our rice sitting in hot water. It's going to sit there for about eight minutes. In the meantime, we're going to dump in our onion, or our garlic onion. And then turn those bad boys around. And then we're going to 
dump in our garlic. I'm just going to stir this bad boy around until they're nice and soft and brown. And then once that's done, we'll add in the rest of our meats here. That's our cubed pork and chicken, all conglomerated in one. And this should take about, don't touch it, you didn't wash your hands. What? Um, who knows where your hands have been. So we're going to do all this right now while the noodles soften. And then uh, take about four to five minutes to prep the rest of the veggies and the meat. Let the meat cook for another four to five minutes after that. So we're talking about really 12, 15 minutes. And then we'll be able to fold in the noodles and then all of our spices and our juices. And then it'll be ready to eat. So we'll see you in a little bit. I'm distracted. How messed up would it be if I dropped your phone in there? It would be very messed up. I would not appreciate it. My phone's already on its deathbed anyway. Yeah. If they could see the screen. His phone is completely cracked, and there's a spot on his screen that, like, looks like a bullet went through it. Thanks. It's not a bullet. It was a rock. Same right. difference. Yeah, but the Samsung 6 Active is a reliable piece of equipment. The Samsung 10's coming out. I've got to take out a small loan or sell my kidney before that thing. Just kidding. All right. We're good. All right. Now the moment of truth. Tossing in the meat. Get in there. Oh. All right. So now we just got to keep folding this bad boy around. Um, so that way they brown nice. And then we can start tossing in everything else. Let's also make sure we can complete the cooking process because some of the chicken was only poached and didn't cook all the way through. And that's okay because that's what the wok's here for. So we'll do this for about four to five minutes and then we'll start folding in the other stuff, the veggies and then the spices. We'll be back. Um. <laughs> Alright, so now we dump in our carrots and our cabbage, and we let this cook for a couple minutes, folding it around. Okay. So our meat and our onions and our garlic are all cooked up. We let this bad boy mix in, and then we're going to throw in our spices and our juices. And then toss in the noodles. Look at that. I know cabbage is not known for its beauty, but when mixed in with something delicious like meat, everything tastes delicious and it has a beauty of its own. All right, so now we come to the part where I dump in the seasoning. So that's the seasoning right there. Okay. That in a little bit. Okay, and now we're gonna pop in a ladle or two of the reduced meat juices. Then we're going to toss in about three tablespoons of uh, soy sauce. And then we're going to mix it all up, let it cook for a few more minutes, and then we're going to toss in the noodles, and then we'll see what the finished product comes out like. This is my new hair transplant uh, experiment. Just kidding. It's the rice noodles all boiled up or whatever. They sat in that hot water for a while, now we're going to toss it into the medley, and then we're going to give it a good toss. All right. Gotta mix it around. It's a lot to take in here. So you want to try to break up the the noodles as you and try not to splash any on you because that really hurts. Ow! Um, the wok is meant to keep everything in. Yeah, the wok is meant to keep everything You're in. Clearly. 
I'm no walk master. An experience. I'm no walk master. The walk master is over there. But pay, but pay, you know, from Kung Fu Panda, his daddy was a walk master. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm a daddy, I have a walk, therefore I should become a walk master. Mm, but the walk master is right there. Yes, you're right. All right, so uh, the juices are sitting at the bottom, so we gotta do our best to fold everything in, make sure everything gets absorbed into the noodles, and then um, we should be ready to chow down in a little bit. So this is about as finished as the product is going to get. So uh, all that's left now is the taste test, and then we'll see if I pass the Panay's uh, stamp of approval, or if I'm gonna sit, sit back in shame to never try this again. And that is as close to finish as I think I can get. <clears throat> and now we're gonna let Bernie come over here and sample the goods. What does it look like? How does it look? It looks right. <laughs> Gotta get the noodles on there. The noodles are kind of long. Uh, yeah, you should have cut it. Just chew through the noodle. <laughs> you need to put a little bit of oil in there. More oil? Wait, let me see. Yeah. Other than that, how does that taste? It's good. Yay, you hear to hear. Kind of victory. Yeah, those are really long noodles. I should have cut those in half. Yeah. All right, production assistant Alyssa. Piece of meat. The whole world's watching you eat. There you go. Yeah, soy sauce. Soy sauce? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, that's it. Bon sit made by me. Passed uh, with about a B average. We'll throw some toyo, which is shorthand for uh, soy sauce, and then we'll call it good. So from us to you, I've been Dad the Noob, you've been you. Salamat po. That's thank you, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. And bon appetit.